EasyCam has a new breakthrough in how we add toolpaths to solid models. We recognize features based on tool selection and applying our templates, speeds, feeds, and all your parameters for your work steps are populated based on the selected part material. You can make your own templates or even modify ours. Let's see how this works. Our focus is on the right hand side of the part. So I will establish boundaries so the tool won't collide with the chuck. Snap the circle center and pick the location where you want the tool path to end. On the right hand side, you'll see the value of that mouse click, telling me the length is 4 inches. 3D simulation stock curve. Select your part material so EasyCam will load the corresponding templates. My bar stock will be 3.625. Now for a front face work step. You can create your own templates, change values on the fly, or select one of EasyCam's tools. You get a preview of the template before you decide to hit OK. A rough turn. EasyCam scans the model for the toolpath. Now we'll rough the center groove. We need to establish our boundaries. Switch to manual. Three quarter view will help us to snap to the proper location. Now our grooves. I'm going to show you a different way to establish boundaries. Use select cut surfaces. Put a window around your grooves. Finish profile. Again with our boundary. Let's add a thread. Select our surface. Now we're ready for ID work. We'll click on the bore. It tells me I can use a drill of one inch. We'll use three quarter view in our simulation so we can see the internal work. We'll use a profile pass for the finish ID. Choose internal. Lastly, our internal groove. And put it all together. And that completes our toolpath.